this is so painful that the Amazonia fighters brutally killed the mayor of Belo Council, Dr. Ngon Inose, and the inspector of basic education in Belo, that they were brutally killed by the Amazonia fighter on their way to the grandstand for the celebration of National Day in Cameroon today, May 20, 2024. It is terrible that Southern Cameroonians are going into their early grave in the hands of their own brothers and sisters. And the first thing I have to tell Amazonia is that, well, that not all Southern Cameroonians are Amazonia. Have this in your brain. And this is something I keep on telling the Amazonian scene. That not all Southern Cameroonians are Amazonia. Amazonia is just one of the three, op three opinions in Southern Cameroon. Amazonia, they stood for its separation that they want to separate and form their own country. And that their own country will be the territory of Southern Cameroon. There are people for federation that they want Cameroon to return to the federal system as it was in 1961, in which Amadou Ahijo dissolved it today, May 20, 1972. There are people who want that Cameroon, Cameroon should be one as it was during the Germans in 1884, right up to 1914 or 1916. That, that is, there are people like that in southern Cameroon. So if you come out just as one part of the population and decided to impose your own opinion, which is separation on the people because you are holding guns, know that when people are pushed to the world, they can do anything. And asking another question, if those for federation decide today that they are going to carry guns to fight the government and also to fight Amazonia who want to separate, how will Southern Cameroon look like? If those for one Cameroon decide today that they, will, they are going to take guns because they can have their guns and that they want to fight, how will Southern Cameroon look like today? This is the question you have to. I told Ambazonia that in 2017 people came in and nearly all Southern Cameroonians supported because they thought you people were coming to fight the military who were oppressing and repressing the people of Southern Cameroon. And in 2018, many people discovered that this is another group coming in with a different agenda. And then many people withdraw from it. And I told Amazon that if that time in 2018 where people started withdrawing from, because they discover who you people are, that you people are for separation in which they are for federation or some are for uh, uh, one Cameroon. The only thing you people could have done was to convince these people that this is the main reason. Convince them by talking to them, not intimidating them. Because when you intimidate somebody, the person will respect you out of fear. And when the person will see an opportunity to revenge, the person will revenge. Many Southern Cameroonians have been living in, in fear. They are just obeying Amazonia because if they don't do it, their property will be burned down or they will be killed. If sincerely you put ballot box today in Southern Cameroon, that those who are for Amazonia should put in, those who are for Federation should put, those who are for One Cameroon should put, not many people. Those as you are going, that people are obeying you, not many people would stand for Amazonia because of the atrocity and the intimidation you have put upon the people and still in the people. This is not how they fight. I look at how Russia is fighting. They went to Ukraine. They say Ukraine is part of Russia. Um, uh, Russia and then they believe that everybody in Ukraine, they are uh, their citizens. And that is why they captured many military from Ukraine, took them to Russia, and, and it, 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 with time, they changed them, they exchanged them, and sent them back to their country. But Amazonia, this is your own people, your own blood. You killed somebody. What crime? That just because the person wants to go and celebrate national unity, what he believes in. Because those who went out to celebrate national unity today are those who want Cameroon to be one. People like me cannot go out because I am for federation. I cannot go out to celebrate 20 May because I am for federation. 
if I'm celebrating it, meaning I'm celebrating eh, 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 what eh, eh, against my own will. And if I stayed in the house, it does not mean that I am an Amazonian. I stayed in the house because I am for federation. It was fed, the federal system that was dissolved because this issue of Tentemen came in. So we have to fight with our brain. And then I'm turning back now to the military of the Cameroon government and to the Cameroon government. It is terrible for you to ask people to go out without any security to celebrate. I am telling the military that you have to open, the government that you have to open and believe that southern Cameroon is not secure. The Killing is still going on. The military are still killing. The Amazonians are still killing. Civilians have been trapped and entangled. So no occasion should be organized in southern Cameroon because from 2017 up to today, any occasion in southern Cameroon, one or two southern Cameroonians will be killed. Then the government would not take it into consideration. It keep on organizing to show to the international community that things are okay. And Southern Cameroonians are going into their early graves every blessed day because of the stupidity of the government of Cameroon under the leadership of President Bobia. Because of their own weakness. You took power for 41 years today, get to 42 years. And your only mission is to assimilate a small group of people, the people of Southern Cameroon. And you openly, without any shame, say it on an international TV in Paris. And the whole world heard that your mission for 41 years in power have been to assimilate these people. And that is the main reason why there is no development in Cameroon. Because you have been using the taxpayer money to assimilate a particular group of people in your own country, your own people. That you claim that you have been elected, in which I don't know who elected you. People keep on telling oh, everybody, telling you that this crisis cannot end militarily. But you, President Pobia, who on that you must end it militarily. It is terrible. People are going into their early grave. Just before this 20 men, how many military have been killed in southern Cameroon? Nine of them. How many civilians? You cannot count. How many Abazodia? You cannot count. Ah, people going into their early graves every blessed day. It is terrible. And I keep on saying, let us change our mentality positively to stop this killing. Look at these young, vibrant, southern Cameroonians. They have gone, leaving their wives, leaving their children, leaving their parents, leaving their relatives. It's painful. Very, very